Hi, everyone. I'm Front Row Phyllis. Disney's The Little Mermaid, a heartwarming tale of love, sacrifice, and discovering your true self when everything feels a world away. And we are thrilled to welcome Ariel, played by Sarah Kay, and Prince Eric, played by Patrick Johnson. Welcome, both of you, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. There have been many people in both of your roles, in Ariel, in, you know, Prince Eric. How do you make the character your own, but really staying true to, you know, how he or she has been portrayed in the past? I'll say personally, and this is a hot take, I have never seen The Little Mermaid until I was cast as Ariel. So I really didn't have any like preconceived notions of the character. Right. I obviously knew Part of Your World, Under the Sea, all those classics. Yeah. Uh, but I think that was kind of an advantage of having to be this character is having a fresh, clean slate on who yeah. Ariel is and being able to create my version of Ariel. I did end up watching the movie because it's a classic and I, right. I needed that foundation. Um, but I kind of strayed away from other productions, didn't watch the new movie or any other Broadway or um, musical adaptions of it, just so I can really put myself into that character and be able to develop her as my own and still make it truthful to the original. So much of Prince Eric's material being fresh and new for the musical, it really did allow me and our directors to kind of create our own version mm -hmm. of the character just with what's written there. Um, so we don't, you know, there isn't a ton of um, history with Prince Eric of what you get to see in this production. So I, for me, I feel like it's kind of easier to kind of just go in there and play and truly just make it my own. Yeah, yeah. Now, has this been a dream role for both of you guys? It's like a dream role I never knew I had. And it's so special because I unfortunately never imagined myself playing a Disney princess. So Really? Yeah. And so when I got this, I was like, me? A Disney princess? <laughs> like, okay. And so uh, just being in rehearsal and being able to craft this character, I realized it truly is a dream I never knew I had. So I truly feel like I'm I'm living, living a dream. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this, not necessarily the role was a dream for me, but working specifically at the Drury Lane was always a huge goal for mine. Okay. The story I love to share with this production is I was watching in preview Cinderella at Drury Lane last holiday season. Mm -hmm. And I went into the lobby during intermission and I said to my friend, because they have a Little Mermaid poster up, and I said, I'm going to be in that. And now fast forward, here we are. And I get to like really take it wow. on. So, yeah, it was something that I was not expecting that was going to come my way but i've never been more grateful for the opportunity do you guys have a favorite song Ooh. i know it's I, hard <laughs> i know there's so many good ones too i would say i love under the sea because yeah. one it's one of the classics and two just having all of the ensemble on stage dancing and partying it is yeah. such a blast mm -hmm. to, be able to have that connection on stage with everyone in the cast yeah yeah. yeah. I love, like, of the new music that we get in the musical, I love She's in Love, which is the Mer Sisters and Founder song singing about Ariel's new love. And I just love it because you get some doo-wop in there and the Mer Sisters and Maya, who plays Founder, just excellent. And it's so fun. And I get to sit, stand in the wings right before her voice and just, like, watch the whole thing. And it's, it's such fun. Sarah, how long does it take you to get ready for the show? Because you have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> That's part of the routine too, is the okay. three, three hours before is wow. because it takes so long to do my makeup. It does. No, it's for sure. Crazy extensive stage makeup, but yeah. one, I am the slowest person happening on my makeup. Um, and two, when I get to the theater, we have to do wig prep, which is where we put our hair in pin curls. Right. So we kind of curl it like this, and then we pin each individual curl, and then we have the wig cap. And wow. for me, I have two mics that I put in my head. So I have to make sure it's steady in the wig cap. And wow. then we have lift call 45 minutes before the show, just to make sure safety wise, everyone is good. Um, so it takes, it takes a, a while, I'll say. Well, thank you again. Disney's The Little Mermaid is playing now through January 12th at the Drury Lane Theater. And guys, this is perfect for the entire family. Thank you guys again and have a great show. Thank you so much. Thank you.